Hey folks, I am here today to talk to you about the organic acids profile. And it's a very amazing test. It's something I've been using and studying in my practice for about 20 years. And it's incredibly complicated and rewarding to run these labs on people. So I just wanna go through a little bit of the detail here about the test. It's done from a simple urine sample, first thing in the morning, relatively easy to perform the test. You wanna be off of your supplements for two or three days prior to doing the lab. And I'm gonna go through the different sections here and start off with one of the more important areas, which is where we are right here uh, on toxicants and detoxification. So I have a really strong view, just from my personal experience in working with human beings for the last 25 years, that one of the major health threats that we're all facing right now is environmental toxin exposure. And just as the world is changing, climate change is happening, we're burning a lot of fossil fuels, there's very clearly an increase in the number of toxins that human beings are consuming, whether it's food, through food or air, what you're breathing or the water you drink, wherever they're coming from, they're getting into our systems. And most everyone that's tested now in the United States has anywhere from like a low of maybe 70 to a high of maybe four or 500 different identifiable environmental toxins in their tissue. It's just a problem that we're all facing now. We've got to deal with it. So in order to protect ourselves, we have detoxification pathways. And this lab test measures six of them. Methylhipparate is directly related to chemical exposure. Orotate has to do with exposure to something called ammonia, which is bad for you, which you've probably heard of ammonia. Glucarate has to do with phase one and phase two detoxification. It looks at how we're getting rid of um, you know, things like prescription drugs, as well as chemical toxins. And then these three markers here, um, hydroxybutyrate, alpha hydroxybutyrate, pyroglutamate, and sulfate all look at a chemical compound called glutathione. Glutathione is the master detoxifier. So very important to see how the detox pathways are working. And then I'm gonna skip around a little bit and just kind of from section to section. The next section that I feel is key are the cell regulation markers, which have to do with your brain. So again, we often see problems like low homovanillate, which means low dopamine, or high kynurinate, which means there's a lot of inflammation in the brain. So this test looks in detail at vanillate, homovanillate, hydroxyindolacetate. These are markers for serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, the major neurotransmitters. And then it has this other section down here, these three markers that look at whether the brain is inflamed or not. Very important to understand what's going on with the brain. And then the next section that's super important is energy production. And this is an analysis of how well your mitochondria are doing. So the mitochondria are responsible for burning fat, for producing energy, for controlling and running the energy in your brain and your liver and your heart, extremely important. So again, this section looks at mitochondrial performance. So already you can see where this is going, right? We looked at liver detoxification, brain health, mitochondrial energy, and now I'll fill in the rest of the test. You can see the other sections. There's a section on fat metabolism, how well you're burning fat. Everyone is a little worried about body fat. So this is always probably the most popular and you know attention grabbing section of the test. Do you need carnitine or not? Do you need B2 or not? Do you have trouble with the ability to burn fat? Carbohydrate metabolism, glucose metabolism, that's important too, obviously, how we make energy from sugar. It measures the B vitamins, including a special section here on methylation, which some of you may have heard of, the idea of methylation, that has to do with vitamin B12 and folate. So those are specifically measured to see if you need either of them. We talked about the brain section already. One of the more important sections here, oxidative stress, this looks at whether you have enough antioxidants or not. So antioxidants protect you against heart disease, cancer, diabetes. Antioxidants are powerful anti-inflammatories. Obviously, they're super, super important from a nutritional perspective. So we're measuring whether you have enough antioxidants or not. We talked about liver detox already. And then the last section of the test looks at what's going on in the gut. And are there enough good or commensal bacteria and is there an overgrowth of yeast or fungal organisms or not? Okay, so this test, if you look at it by section, it covers the brain, stress on the brain, inflammation on the brain, it covers detoxification pathways. We look in depth at the mitochondria, 
fat burning, carb burning, etc. And we have this section on antioxidants as well as the gut. So it's an amazing test panel. There's so much information that you can get from this. Strongly encourage people to do this at least once a year as a regular routine checkup. If you're interested, please let us know. You can contact the office and we'll get you out of test kit. Thanks.